In this tutorial, we're going to learn about two different types of mask tools in Adobe Photoshop. The first mask tool we'll look at is called the Clipping Mask Tool. This tool is useful when you have a couple of different images in your project and you'd like to limit the way they appear in relation to each other. For this example, we have three images in our project. Our background, a Notre Dame leprechaun, and an Irish flag. We'll use the clipping mask tool to apply an Irish flag pattern over the leprechaun. To do this, make sure that the layers in the side panel are arranged in the order that you'd like them to appear in your project. Since we want the Irish flag image overlaid on top of the leprechaun, we want to make sure that that layer is on top. Using the free transform tool, let's make sure that the Irish flag is large enough to cover the leprechaun. Next, right-click in the area next to the layer name. A list of options will appear. Select Create Clipping Mask. Now, every part of the Irish flag will disappear except the parts covering the leprechaun. Notice that in the layer panel, the Irish flag layer is indented, while the layer it falls over, the leprechaun layer, is underlined. This notation will always show you which layers are included in your clipping mask. To undo a clipping mask, simply right-click on the area next to the layer name of the top layer and select Release Clipping Mask. There's one other mask tool you might want to use at some point. This is the Type Mask tool. Click on the Text Tool icon on the left of the window. Look at the bottom two options. These are the horizontal and vertical type mask tools. Select the horizontal type mask tool and click and drag on the screen where you want to add your text. The entire page will temporarily turn red. Go ahead and add in your text and then click the check mark on the top of the screen. You'll notice that the text is now surrounded by a light outline, showing that the region is selected. Now, go up to Edit, Clear. The region of the picture in the shape of the word that you typed will be deleted from the image. To see that, go ahead and go to Select, Deselect. The only layer that the Type Mask tool deleted was the layer that was selected when it was added. Now you know two different ways to apply mask tools to an image project in Adobe Photoshop.